Oh, is this baseball? Hi everyone, my name is Stephen George and I play video games. And today there's a second first 20 coming at you and you might be asking, why? Uh, this is a game that I wanted to play uh, that I thought might end up being a little short. So I also released Iconoclast. Uh, and I'm very interested in playing Oh, Is This Baseball? Because I provided voice acting for this game. Um, I actually worked with uh, one of my good buddies, uh, Muhammad, uh, to do some voice acting for this game for the movie Game Jam. Uh, this game was actually made in about 10 days by a very small group of people, and uh, I actually did voice work on this game, along with Kira Buckland, who you may know better as the voice of 2B from uh, Near Automata. So I'm excited to play this. I haven't played this yet. Um, it just came out earlier this week, and uh, I'm excited to jump in and see how the game actually plays because it's very ridiculous. Um, the idea of the movie Game Jam is to design a game based around uh, something that has to do with movies, like a, a scene from a movie, and this is inspired heavily from the uh, He Gets on Bass scene from the 2011 film Moneyball with Brad Pitt. So. In this game, I'm kind of playing like a bizarro version of Brad Pitt. And it should be fun. So let's click in and uh, play this game and also get a chance, at least I get a chance, to uh, hear what I sound like in a video game. Meet the Smokeland Alphabetics. They have no money and no team. It is up to you and General Manager Chili Cheen to strap a team together on a shoestring budget. We need... Someone who can get on base. Did you want me to speak? When I point at you, yes. <clears throat> okay. Don't forget to be mindful of your budget. If you run out, it's game over. All right. Also, it's super weird <laughs> to, <laughs> to hear my voice in a game. Uh, so let's see. Players drafted zero. Budget, 21 million. Um, so POS is player position on the field. No pitchers. Uh, batting average, the higher the better. Number of hits the player has gotten last season. Home runs hit last season by the player. Bases on balls, the number of times they walked. On base percentage, the higher the better. Other. Some stats are so groundbreaking, not even the scouts know what to make of them. Good luck. All right, so we need someone who can get on base. So we're looking for OBP, on base percentage. So this person has a very high OBP. I like this guy. He gets on base. Uh-huh. All right, so we spent some money and got that guy. We need more home runs. Okay, so now we need more home runs. Um, let's see. Home, HR is home runs hit last season by the player. 25, 41, 42, 43. Uh, so some of, these, some of these guys have hit a good bit. Um, 43 seems like the highest. But we're also looking at cost, too. Hmm. It's one thing I didn't <laughs> didn't think about the first time. So, like, the difference between 42 and 43 um, is a ridiculous amount of cost. But luckily, the person with the highest home run is actually pretty cheap. Let's go there. I like this guy. He hits home runs. Uh-oh. <laughs> that was a bad choice. <laughs> oh, no, but he was cheap. We need an all-star first baseman. An all-star first baseman. Uh, first baseman, that would be, <laughs> also I know nothing about baseball. Uh, let's see, player position on the field, an all-star first baseman. So this is a first baseman, this is a first baseman. They're both pretty cheap, this one's only 200,000, this is 327,000. If we need an all-star first baseman... I would say that we would just go with the cheaper one. Barnabas. I like this guy. He can play first base, I think. Uh-huh. Okay, so that was a good decision. I got the thumbs up. We need somebody with a really long name. For the kids. Hmm. <laughs> so now we're... As the game goes on, we choose more and more, like, ridiculous stats. Um... Let's go with... I mean, that guy's got a pretty long, ridiculous name. It's literally the longest name. And he's cheap! I like this guy. His name is Long. That's funny. Kids think long names are funny. 
Uh oh. <laughs> but he was a bad player. We need a tech bro. Attitude optional. A tech bro. Oh god. Um Wait, what are we looking at now? <laughs> Bay coins, beardlin, beard length. How long should a oh, <laughs> See, okay, so here's the thing. Like it's it's a baseball game, but it also branches out into just a ridiculous nature because it's a humorous game. So now we're looking at beard length bay coins. Uh Tech Bro, do we want a shorter beard or a longer beard? But also look at look at the money. Look how much we could save. Um This guy's got a short beard. But we have a ton of money. I think for a tech bro, we want we want a shorter beard. And look how many bay coins he has. I like this guy. He drinks raw water and invests in crypto. Uh-oh. <laughs> Chili Jean did not like that. We need a warlord. No further explanation required. A warlord. Um. Hmm. Let's do... <laughs> there is no further explanation, so I'm just like, man, I, I'm not sure what I should base this off of. Let's do age. We want, like, a... They're all, well, they're all pretty fit. Um, it's bad, because I'm just like, look at all the money I could save if I just hire one of these guys. How about this dude? His stats... <laughs> stats aren't great. This guy's stats are actually better. And he's cheaper. Let's do this. I like this guy. He's probably killed a man or two. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> he had the good stats. We need a barista. Grinding coffee beans is just like playing ball. <laughs> Caffeine, sugar, and size. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, God, this barista costs $6 million. Hmm. How much do we want caffeine and sugar? Look at the size. For the co like for the for the size for the cost, like this is a pretty good deal. It doesn't give us a lot of caffeine though. And this oh, look at how much sugar. No, I'm going for the sugar. I like this guy. <laughs> He's a latte bloomer. Uh-oh. <laughs> Shut up, Chili Ching. We got plenty of money. We need an idol. You know, let's shake things up a bit. Hmm. Cool, pure, and smile. Okay, well this one's four million dollars and got the smile points. This one doesn't have the smile points. But they're cool and pure. <laughs> um, for the cost, this might be where we should go. Um... This has got a little more well-rounded. You know what? Forget the smile. They can't smile. That's fine. He's an idol. We'll uh, need to let the commissioner of baseball know about this. To heck with that. The masses want pop music. Now then. We need... <laughs> we need just one more person to complete the team. It's all you. Hmm. Okay. Uh... We have a ton of money. Um... Let's blow it all on someone who, who is not, not necessarily good. Uh, and as far as stats go, these stats seem highest. Stern Kenny. I like this guy. He'll fit the team nicely. Let's go win this thing. Uh-oh. We need... Actually, do we need anybody else? I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We we can we can afford to throw in Dean, who costs four million dollars. Uh, although you're slightly cheaper and better in basically every way. I like this guy. We don't need him, but I want him. Uh oh. We need a hero, somebody classic. Somebody epic. <laughs> salad snack. I'm drawn to salad snack just based on the name. Um, 
Samos. Uh, these are all like plays on video game names, at least some of them. Uh, huh. Let's go. Ah, Samos is pretty good. Salad Snack can hit the home runs, man. I'm going Salad They're Snack. You're the most beloved protagonist I can think of. Uh huh. Yeah, Salad Snack. We need an alien. The Smokeland Alphabetics are going intergalactic, baby. Hmm. How about, uh. God, some of these aliens are not very good at the baseball. Um. These numbers are higher than some of the other ones. As a reminder, H, number of hits, and HR, home runs. But do they get on base? That's the real question we got to be asking here. This is pretty good for the cost. We're sure to be the first team to appeal to Martians. Uh-huh. Yeah! We need a big old guy to fight off some of them smoky demons. Pesky things, ain't they? <laughs> we need a demon fighter. Bullets and stinks. <laughs> Slay. Hmm. We're starting to run out of money. I started to spend money a little freely near the middle there. Uh, 56,000. How many bullets do you really need? Uh, let's go with... Don't want to blow all my money here. This person's with a sleigh. Look at how much sleigh. Sleigh is good. I'm going to... This is pretty... That's... That's pretty well-rounded. I like this guy. He's killed his fair share of demons. More than I ever have, at least. Uh-oh. Hmm. That's a wrap, boys. We have a team. Let's put science to practice and see how well we'll do. And did well they did. The Smokeland Alphabetics ended the season first in their division, their budget vastly below the teams they had conquered. Good ending! 116 wins, 46 losses. Woo! Uh, now, if I remember correctly from talking to Muhammad, who lists <laughs> himself as Project Lead and Very Sleepy, uh, I believe there's four endings. Uh, there's, uh, like, worst ending, bad ending, good ending, and best ending. So we got good ending. So not too bad. Uh, this game is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, and it is a name-your-own-price game. So you can name uh, your own price for the game. I will put the link in the description if you would like to play it for yourself. Maybe you guys can get best ending. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this little extra. It was really fun to um, to provide some voice talent for this. It was also interesting, to say the least, uh, to be in the credits with Kira Buckland, who is a professional voice actress. Um, but it was super cool, and uh, I hope I get a chance to do uh, more voice work in the future. I think it'd be really fun. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week for another Stephen Blaze First 20.